Hello guys, in this video I will give you an overview of the project title Integrated LoRa Based GOC Smart City Network. Let's start with the LP1 market forecast. The LP1 is for long range, uh, low power, wide area networks. And the market uh, uh, snapshot from 2021 envisions a five year accumulative growth at the scale of 33%. And LoRa is one of the leading technologies in this field and the main advantage of LoRa is that it works in the unlicensed band which means that any startup can have a deployed LoRa network at minimal uh, cost. We can also see that in the Middle East uh, region that this technology has only a 2% which means that there is a huge growth potential for this technology. Just as an example, in the new capital in uh, Egypt there is a a lot of projects working on installing LoRa for uh, smart waste management, for smart parking, for smart, 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 whatever smart applications you could uh, think of. So we would like in this project to uh, work on a GUC smart city network, which means that we would like to have the GUC as a use case for multiple uh, IoT applications, whether it is environmental monitoring, whether it is uh, smart parking, whether it is waste management. So any use case that you can think on a typical city, we would like to implement it within this camp, the campus or the scale of the campus of the GUC. So therefore we can have in our project different use cases whether it could be using current sensors so current sensors for energy profiling or devices could be a temperature and humidity sensor for environmental modeling modeling could be motion sensors and uh, for activity detection light sensors for automatic control of the lighting accelerometers for mobility or motion within the network or for um, asset monitoring smoke detection for security alerts ultrasound for identification of uh, assets monitoring as well uh, soil moisture sensors for uh, agriculture uh, so for plants and for uh, greenery in the GOC campus door sensors for uh, activity or whether the door is open or closed so these are just example of sensors that can be used in different use cases not only the use cases I have I have discussed uh, right now uh, so we would like to have a system that has the capability to support any use case you can think of within the scope of GUC <coughs> so the uh, smart city ar architecture would start from the LoRa modules which have the sensors connected to them and then it would have a LoRa gateway which is in our project will be a LoRa receiver connected to a Raspberry Pi and then this uh, LoRa gateway will be forwarding the information to the application server or to the cloud which is supported through things board now currently currently what we have in the GUC so this is my office over here and uh, with the red marker so I have here a, a Raspberry Pi with a uh, LoRa receiver connected to it and the advantage of LoRa within the scope obviously because of its long range within the scope of the of this project is that actually the the LoRa receiver and the uh, Raspberry Pi which represent the gateway and which is in my office in C3321 could be reachable or could receive signals from any location within the GUC campus so you can see in this slide the GUC campus any sensor you have within the area of the campus could be received by my gateway and could be forward to the application server and therefore the starting point is that we already have an infrastructure that supports this multiple use cases of IoT systems within the GOC so what we would like to do we would like to do multiple use cases so just example of two use cases that we can implement and we can implement more so we can implement an energy profiling system where you would have current sensors these current sensors would be connected to a LoRa device so it's like a plug this smart plug will be profiling the consumption of the uh, electricity and this could be used for profiling uh, profiling different devices so whether whether it will it consumes a lot of energy or not whether there is a risk of uh, over over uh, over 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 using the current which could be a risk of fires or something like this whether this device is at a risk of uh, becoming faulty or not 
So this is an example of application that could be implemented. Another example of an application could be implemented is a GUC sport parking system where we'd have parking sensors. So this is the parking area next to uh, gate five and you can have different parking sensors that can count the number of cars within this parking area and the status could be sent to uh, the gateway and back to the server as part of the GUC parking system. These are examples of two use cases we can implement, but we can implement much, uh, much more. So therefore, what is our objective in the project? We would like to have the framework. The framework should enable us to distinguish different sensors from the same use case and from different use cases. We should be able to manage the storage and the uh, profiling or the management of the of the stored data. We can install profiling uh, algorithm or filing schemes using machine learning to be able to analyze the data to detect particular events of uh, interest. All of this is dependent on which use cases we will be implementing. So what are the tools we will be using? We will be using Arduino programming to program the sensors. We will be using Python programming to program the over the Raspberry Pi that collects the data and sends it to the things board uh, uh, server for a dashboard for display of, uh, of different uh, sensor readings. And we would also have a things board, which is our back end, which has the dashboards that displays the measurements of the different, of the different uh, uh, sensors that we have in our network.